what's good good evening facebook instagram everybody that's watching just you know quick my inspiration something that god was dealing with me with all day today i was going to do it earlier but i've been doing a lot of running trying to get a lot of stuff situated and taken care of but just you know quick inspiration just to give some encouragement don't hide your talents god has blessed us and given us all some type of talent and what happens is with our talents we allow people to stop us from using what God has given us because some people may say well who said you're able to do that who gave you the authority to do that or say that or do this or do that but God has given you the authority to do all things scripture says you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you and when God has given you a talent you ought not to hide it no matter what your talent is we all have talents we all have gifts we all have giftings and some people may not understand your gift some people may not understand your talent they may not want you to grow they may not want you to use it they may not want you to you know work in it or they want to discourage you from moving on because they have a need of it or they don't want you to grow but one thing that you need to do if God gave it to you you ought to use it in Matthew 25 15 the Lord had given his servants talents he gave one five he gave one two he gave one one the one that had five he went and he ended up doubling it the one that had two he went and he doubled his and then the one that had one he hid it and when the Lord came back it wasn't right away but in a time frame that he came back when the servants came the Lord asked what did you do with your talents the one that had five he was excited and said hey look I doubled it I, I, I have another five the one that said two, had two said hey look I doubled two I, I have four and then the one that had one he said well I know that you are a, a harsh Lord and you would have punished me if I would have lost it and you know so I hid it and the Lord said, well, why would you hide it? I would rather you lose it than to hide it. And that's what God is telling us today. Stop hiding your gift. Stop allowing people to block you or stop you from using what God has given you. Because what God has given you is a gift, is a talent to move, to motivate you. So some talents can lead to you having a financial gain. Some talents will lead to you having fame and some talents will get you into places that some man or woman can't get you in and what happens is so many times we hide our talents because we are scared of what others are going to say I had to learn that I can't be scared of their faces I can't be scared because I may not think I'm good enough I can't be scared because I don't know what might happen if I express or show my talent but I had to learn to be like the man that had five talents and I had to go out and use my talents. I have to put myself in a position to do what God has given me to do. I can't hide. I can't wait for somebody else to give me the opportunity because in the scriptures it says your gift will make room for you. And if your gift is going to make room for you, then there's no need to hide your talent. There's no need to fall back when you know God has given you something. And when God has gifted you with something, you ought to go out and just do what God has called you to do. Stop being scared of what others are saying or because you don't think that you're good enough. You are good enough. And the reason why you are good enough is because God gave it to you. And if God gave it to you, then that's all you need. And if you continue to work on your gift, you continue to build your gift, it will open up doors. It'll start to make ways. It'll do things that others won't even imagine how good or how far you're going to get why because god is not done with you yet this they say if god before you who can be against you and there's sometimes we have so many gifts we have so many great talents that we stop ourselves from going forward because we're scared of what others are going to say no matter what they say don't worry about the naysayers because the naysayers 
can't do what God is going to do. Stop worrying about those that are saying, hey, don't do this because of this. Don't be scared to go into arenas. Don't be scared to go in through doors that God has made for you. Because if God is going to do it, surely if he brought you to it, he's going to bring you through it. So don't worry about it. Stop letting people stop you or discourage you from using your gift. Stop letting people hold you back from using your gift. Because God wants you to use what he has given you. And listen, yes, sometimes we get scared because we don't know what, to, what might happen when we step out on our gifts. But God says, step out on me. Step out on faith. Use your gift. Because if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And you don't want to lose it. You don't want to be like the one that hid his talent. And God said, you evil person. You, you're evil for not using your talent. But then you got to also remember, those that have rule over you, those that are leading you, those who are sitting over you, or those that have say over what you do, don't let them stop you from using your talents or using it just for them. Because a, a workman is worthy of their hire. And if you're a workman and you're doing what God has called you to do, he's going to make sure that you're taken care of. And those that are trying to stop your blessing, those that are going to stop your gift, don't allow it. you got to be strong enough to stand on your own and say, listen, God gave it to me. i got to walk out and do it. I can't hold back my gifts anymore. I can't stop what God has given me because my gifts is always going to make room for me. And if he makes room for me in one area, I know he can make room for me in another area. So if you have a gift of singing, you have a gift of playing, you have a gift of teaching, preaching, you have a gift of praying, whatever your gift may be, don't hide your gift. Use it for the upbuilding of God's kingdom. And as you use it for the upbuilding of God's kingdom, all things that you stand in the need of, he's going to do. He's going to open up those doors. He's going to make ways out of no way. And then those that have been trying to stagnate you, those that have been trying to hold you back, those that have been trying to stop you, is going to find out that they are messing, they're blocking not just their blessing, but they're blocking your blessing. And if you are some, if you have somebody that's blocking your blessing, it's going to mess you up. So stop worrying about blessing blockers, and go out and step out on your and get your blessing. Let God use you in all the ways that He has. So take your talents and do what God's called you to do, and stop worrying about what everybody else is going to say or what everybody else is saying or doing. And one thing, don't doubt yourself. That's the biggest thing. We doubt ourselves with our talents because we look at others and we see that they may be doing something different or they may seem a little better. But your gifting, your talent is what God gave you. And if you work on it and it'll improve when you continue to do it, it'll grow and continue to work on it. It'll continue to bless you and it'll, and it'll inspire not just you, but those around you. Because then people will see that you're not scared to use your gifts. You're not scared to use your talents. And you'll be able to step out and watch what God is able to do for you. So I don't like that. You know, I know I don't be on here long. And I think I'm past seven minutes. So listen, use your talents for God. Stop worrying about what others say. Don't worry about what others may think. Because what God has for you is for you. Step out on faith. And don't hide your talent. Because if you hide your talent... God is going to shame you because he gave it to you to use and to be a blessing, not just to yourself, but to those that need to hear. And what you're able to do, God is going to bless you for it. So just know that if you have your talents, don't hide it, don't sit on it, but go out and perfect it and just continue to do it. Because what you do, only what you do for Christ is going to last. So on that note, have an amazing night. Whenever you watch it, have an amazing day. God bless you. Know that I love you. And may heaven continue to smile upon you and give you peace. Until the next time, have a great night.